<laughs> well, I'm bringing this. I'm bring, we're bringing you in. Okay, guys, we have a very interesting topic here today. Two people. You can have dinner with two people in history. Anyone, living, dead, maybe even in the future, if you can think of anyone that's going to be alive in the future. Who are you guys going with? Shlomo? Oh, man. Uh, first and foremost, I would have to get dinner with Michael Scott, Dunder Mifflin. Michael Scott, really? Yeah, Michael Scott, Dunder Mifflin. Well, no, Steve Carell. Oh, so wait, no. we're going fictional too? Well, yeah, fictional. Oh, so I thought that was implied. <laughs> I didn't say, um, I mean, did I say fictional? I said anyone in history. He was in history. He's the greatest manager, <laughs> man, woman, and child to run that branch. Fictional history, but okay, no, if, we, if we're going down that route, sure, let's let's go. All right. Yep. Michael Scott, Dunder Mifflin. Wow. Uh, and then after that, I want to keep it going. I'm, I'm a guy who loves laughing. I love jokes. Uh, I'd have to bring in Larry David. And us three would just be cracking jokes all night, That's eating good. spaghetti, doing what we do. That's phenomenal. I think mono locks now. I wanted to go with someone funny, but I think if I'm just going to, you know, be enjoying my time to the absolute fullest, I'm going to go with Rick Ross <laughs> and Pharrell Williams. Pharrell? All right. Wow. Pharrell. Because, dude, I'm, I'm first off, I'm asking everything about a skincare routine so that I, too, <laughs> can look young for the rest of my life because that's necessary. And then also just so I could be shooting the shit with them. You know what Maybe I mean? Maybe get your foot in the door somewhere. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you never know. But I feel like Pharrell's just a good dude also. You know what I mean? Phenomenal guy. And Rick Ross, I've been a huge fan of his oh. forever, basically. And I wouldn't even need to ask him much. I, I would just really be very comfortable with Rick Ross just at the table. Presence. Yeah, if he didn't want to talk much, he wouldn't have to. But, I mean, he could, obviously. we get some lemon pepper wings. Hell yeah. Would you it know? be at a wing stop? No. I think I'd have to do, like, you know, we have to go some top-of-the-line shit. But That's what I was thinking, like some real nice some real place nice in the shit. North End or something. You know, and I was struggling with the idea, and I don't know if you guys still are, but, like, there's just so many different pairings that you can come up with, you know? Oh, but yeah. I think if I'm going to settle down, that's, Those are that's the, two? the two I'm going with. Jake, who are you going with? It's tough. I give, I think I have to give a shout out specifically if I were to do two separate ones, mm -hmm. Quentin Tarantino and Tom Brady. But I just have too much to ask them that I can do it in one dinner together. So I think based on what we were talking about earlier with the top dog, Snoop Dogg, Mm -hmm. And Seth Rogen. I think that oh. would be just like, they're already good friends, you know? Um, or is it Wiz Khalifa he's good friends with? Either way, I think that Hell that would yeah. just be. You could be the third amigo. There. That's what I'm saying, dude. Yeah. Like, that would be. That'd you be know, nice. it's going to be a good time. Mm -hmm. Like you were saying, you know, weed's acceptable mm -hmm. there. It's going to be. Laughing. Yeah, you're going to be laughing. You're going to be drinking. Mm -hmm. It's going to be legendary. So I got to settle with that one. But like you said, there's just too there's many. So many. Too yeah, many options. That's a really good one, though, now that I'm thinking back yeah. on it. Hell yeah. Well, Jake is right, in my opinion, with the whole there's a dynamic of it's it's two people. It's not a one on one dinner. So yeah. I I'm kind of with you because if I, if I was gonna have a one on one dinner, I think I'd go the lady from the AT and T commercials because I am in love with her. <laughs> but and of course, again, this is but again, she's alive and there's still probably like a point one percent chance I could actually manage that in my real life. But so anyone in history, you tell me anyone in history, yeah, and I think anyone. I really want to like squeeze the juice. Of like my my selections here and really like have a great dinner with two people uh, that I could really benefit from. So I go Will Ferrell because mm -hmm. he's probably the funniest person I can think of. Is made me laugh the most, and I'd have a lot of questions to ask him. And then Andre the Giant, just, wow. <laughs> just pure spe <laughs> just pure spectacle because this man was literally a giant. And um, I think he drank the most beers in history, so I'd love to just sit back, drink as many beers as possible with Will Ferrell and Andre the Giant. Because Will Ferrell will have the comedy yeah. relief, and then Andre the Giant will be Andre the Giant. I can't that. stop thinking about just Will Ferrell's face when like Andre the Giant walks into the room. <laughs> I, I think I probably would... Wow. I'd probably die from that dinner from just laughing and having a good time so much. But yeah, those are my two. Andre the Giant. And Will Ferrell. That's amazing. That Shout out to Andre the Giant. Yeah. I'll put some smoke in the sky for him. Yeah, I saw a documentary on him. That was fantastic. Mm -hmm. That's a great pairing, man. man. There's a lot. We had some uh, some honorable mentions too. I think Jake mentioned earlier the uh, Jesus Christ and the Devil. Yeah, Jay Crizzle. <laughs> that would be real Jay good. Crizzle. That'd be uh, some good beef right there. Oh, uh, Lewis and Clark too. <laughs> yeah, I'm still on that, dude. Wow. I like, things I like, they must have seen, though. They, like, I, I imagine they have shit. beef, though. Because it's Lewis like, and Clark? yeah, they they probably have beef. Probably. 
You know, it's like an ego thing. Like, who discovered the Mississippi first? Lewis is like, dude, they it was both me. Did at the same <laughs> He's time. like, I saw it first, and it's like, I don't know. Yeah, I picking, this picking two people with beef is definitely an interesting dynamic. Yeah. Imagine like going Gucci Man and Jeezy, oh. <laughs> <laughs> sitting at a formal dinner. Yeah, that'd yeah. be a lot. That'd be a lot. Shout Probably be eating versus. bowls for dinner. I saw. Oh my god. And Nikki I'm trying and to think Cardi. of not a good honorable mention. And I feel like. If I were to go back, I would probably sit down Jason Veritek and Alex Rodriguez. Um, Red Sox They're boys now. Beef. They're boys now. But I'd like to sit down and just fucking, you know, ask them some questions. Of course, yeah. yeah. Be like, so what What was said? You know, what was done? Without thinking too much, what are you, are you guys uh, ordering for dinner at this dinner? Ooh. Something light. Oof. If I'm going to be laughing a lot, something light. <laughs> a slice of pizza or something. I'm going tacos. It's my favorite food. Lemon and I think pepper I can eat a bunch of tacos and drink a bunch of beer with Andre and Will. Yeah. Half priced apps. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Applebee's, maybe. Margaritas. For Five dollar margaritas. Five dollars. Yeah. That's yeah, somewhere amazing. where you can sip. Definitely yeah. sip it down. Yeah. Rose and I would have uh, probably be at a wing stop, I'd say. I was going to go for That's on brand. Nice. Yeah. 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 With me and yeah. Michael Wings Scott, over. we'd probably be at the Chili's or Benihana or Hooters, which would be great. Hooters, that'd be fucking I'd go to Santa Fe with Absurd. Andre and Will. Santa Fe burrito. I have a yeah. <laughs> Santa Fe in uh, in Weymouth is a very special place in my heart. I love their food and their atmosphere. So yeah, I'd probably go to Bravo Pizzeria. Yeah, yeah, Bravo. definitely get that ten percent off, baby. <laughs> 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 Music radio. Come on, boys, I get the hook up here. <laughs> yeah, they look at you like you're the big shot in the group. Exactly. Like, Rose will just be in there like, oh. Larry David, look at me like this guy's not too bad. Yeah, exactly. Hell yeah. Well, if you guys have any uh. Any celebrities, doesn't have to be a celebrity, but any two people that you would get dinner with, let us know in the comments. And as always, stay blessed, have a wonderful day. Peace. I, I, I. This is Antonio Acquelli. This is the one and only JQ from the Hills Turn Podcast. This is Jimmy from the Q. And you're listening to Mass Music Radio. And you're listening to Mass Music Radio. Mass Music Radio. Mass music Radio.